Hi, this is Troy with ESCO Calibration Laboratory. With a recent hurricane that hit the East Coast, we thought we'd touch on the subject of barometric calibration. And I have Mike Olson with me today. Mike's our senior metrologist at ESCO. We're going to talk a little bit about barometric pressure, barometric calibration. And Mike, um, can you give us an idea of what we have here today? What do we have for a standard? What's our chamber? Um, how is everything hooked up? We have a digital uh, barometer that we use to monitor the pressure in, inside a chamber. We place the customer's unit inside the chamber. Uh, we apply a vacuum or a pressure and we can vary the, the, the environment inside the chamber and compare the customer's barometer to ours. Nice. With the recent hurricane, I believe we had readings down in New Jersey around 940 millibar. This device can go way below that. But as you can see, on this meter, 940 millibar doesn't even register on the analog meter. So you can imagine the, the pressure on that storm. Uh, Mike, what's, what's the lowest we can go on this? About uh, 10 millibar. 10 millibar. So it's, it's uh, pretty low pressure. And <laughs> basically, that's the point at which the you can't achieve any lower pressure with right. this. The outgassing of the chamber hmm. and the seals leaking. So here at ESCO we do calibrations on barometers as well as pressure, dead weight testings, wide range of pressure capabilities. And using this acrylic chamber we can uh, manipulate the bar barometric pressure to calibrate barometers on an accredited level. Thank you for joining us today.